Okay, I'm back. I just rebooted my phone while trying to record a video blog, which wasn't helpful. Um, this is what the courgettes and tomatoes look like. You see that sort of courgette and tomato soup. And I'm now going to add back in the aubergines, uh, aubergines, onions and garlic that I cooked earlier. And mix it all together and then give it another five minutes. That was about... 10 minutes of uh, simmering away there with the tomatoes so i'll show you what it looks like once we've put it all together okay so i've added the aubergines back in and the soup consistency has now pretty much disappeared we've got a sort of well a mixture of vegetables with a little bit of um, juice and um, creaminess to it really um, i'm now going to season it with conventional seasoning Keep pressing the wrong buttons does that happen to you as well right um, I have a big thing of salt I bought this at the start of the trip and it's only half used so I don't use that much salt but I probably use more than other people I don't know it's like a pinch and a half and it just tastes better with salt it's a hot day I'm sweating I need salt that's uh, lesson from childhood right and I also added a little bit more moisture because um, with adding the aubergines in there's no the soup effect is totally disappeared there's no like spare liquid running around we probably need a little bit so I'll stick in a little bit more water just a tablespoon at a time no more because you really don't want to have that you don't want it sort of floating around in liquid and now finish it off I'm going to give it five more minutes with the lid on and then uh, tasting time so um, it's ready I've just done some final tasting and it's a bit bland I think it's because my tomatoes are not rich enough and I use this sun-dried tomato paste rather than classic concentrated tomato paste so I'm going to use a few little uh, boosters to try and um, enhance the flavors so I'm going to add so in this tin I've just mixed together a little bit one tablespoon more soy sauce and uh, another drop of Tabasco and a little bit more salt so I'm going to stick that in and mix that through and the other thing is that the tomatoes and I've just tasted this it it's really it's lacking a sweetness it's quite sharp and I've tasted these little tomatoes as well and they're sharp as well and with the ratatouille you really want to have a little bit of sweetness from the tomatoes and it's just not coming through at all so there is a solution to that it's um i think the french would call it a travesty a aberration um but um it it will taste good and i'm only going to use a little bit yeah it's going in squeezy golden syrup in in ratatouille but just just give it uh, that was like a teaspoon, right? Or even less than a teaspoon. And that will just bring out a little bit of sweetness that's missing from the tomatoes because it's June and tomatoes are at their best in August unless you live in Sicily or whatever. Right. I'm going to taste it again. Let's see how we're doing. So... bit hot tasting straight from the pan but the flavors are much better I think it's good I'm going to turn it off let it cool down a bit before I serve it to the kids and we'll see how it goes hi everyone right the ratatouille Hello. is being tested I've got Samuel and Nathaniel here for toddler meltdown reasons we don't have Miriam or Laura here at the moment um, uh, how's it going Nathaniel good do you, do you like the food? The sun's a bit bright, isn't it? Yeah. Do you like the food? Yeah, it's very yummy. It's, I think it's ratatouille. Might be my favourite way way to have courgettes. Okay, Samuel. Okay. I'd say fifty billion out of a hundred. 
Okay, thank you. <laughs> you can't see. Are you happier now, Miriam? Do you want to say bye-bye to everyone? Because ratatouille is a mix of my, or some of my two favourite vegetables. So this is what we've got. With some baguette and some Californian red. Desolate.